Okay, uh, today we're going to take a look at um, building domes with hubs. Uh, let me just show you. Uh, this is a model I just quickly knocked up. Uh, yeah, uh, one method is to use hubs on the ends um, with struts in between. But the problem with this is, what do you bend those angles over to? That's the, the I get asked this loads of times. Um, and there's a very simple answer that works with any frequency, any size of dome, um, pretty much any geodesic dome you can think of, uh, this works with. Um, let me explain first uh, what the principle is of getting this angle. Okay, if you take a look at this drawing, um, you can see that what we're looking for is actually the axial angle. Um, now, to get this, we need two pieces of information. We need the radius of the dome and we need a strut length. Let's take a look at a typical um, dome calculation tool. This is mine on the Geodome website. What we need to do is we need to find the chord factor. Uh, the chord factor is the radius. Let's, let me just show you. Uh, if we set, you can work this on any. Um, calculation tool, but I'm going to show you on mine for obvious reasons here. If you set the radius to 1, that's 1 unit. It doesn't matter if it's feet, meters, doesn't matter. It's 1 unit. And if you click calculate, what it'll do, it'll tell you the strut lengths. Uh, this is called the chord factor because if the radius is 1, the strut, the strut length of A would be 0 0.35. Now, if you have a 10 meter that uh, radius dome, calculate that, and you can see that this is uh, 10 times bigger. So what we're looking at, the, the base chord factor is when the radius is 1. So let's reset that to 1. So if the radius is 1, the strut length is 0 0.35, uh, we'll scroll down, on the red one, that's strut A, is there, strut B is 0 0.4, uh, that's the blue line, and strut C is 0 0.41. Uh, that's all the information you need to work out what the bend angles are for your hubs. Right, next go to this page. Uh, it's the flattened conduit bend angle calculator. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description so you can just click through to this. Uh, this is for um, conduit, but it works exactly the same for the hub. What you need is this chart here. Um, remember how we looked at the uh, chord factors? So this is the list of the chord factors. This is the central angle, the axial angle, and the bend angle. The bend angle is the one we're interested in. Uh, here's a quick diagram here. Uh, if that's your strut length, this is the bend angle. Now, on a flattened conduit, you start with the strut and you bend the end over. On a hub, you're just doing exactly the same bend but you start from the this position and you bend over to the strut side the bend angle is exactly the same for both so it's related to the axial angle there that's your central angle uh, and this is your radius and your strut length so that gives you an idea of the information here so we're interested in the bend angle remember if you can remember back we looked at the um, uh, three frequency calculator on my site. Let's flick back there. That's not it. Uh, this is it here. And we had strut length A 0 0.35, strut length B 0 0.4, and strut length C 0 0.41. Let's just look at this 0 0.35, I think it was, wasn't it? 0 0.35. Now we don't have an exact match. There we go. 0 0.347 is 10 degrees. So that would be a 10 degree bend angle for that strut. Uh, and the other one was, I believe, 0 0.4. The closest one to that would be 0 0.399, which is 11.5. And the um, 0 0.41 was uh, the slightly longer one, which is 12 degrees. So we have uh, three measurements here. We've got um, 10 degrees, 11.5, and 12 degrees. Now, those 11.5... Uh, 0 0.4 is a little bit bigger than that, obviously, uh, 
So what I'd, I would round them in to the same. So that you do uh, the pentagons at 10 degrees and the others at 12. Let's just have a look. Here's another uh, page on the website. Um, it's about making hubs. And we I, I did some uh, quick working out uh, to simply show what the angles are for a three frequency. So we can check our calculator against this. And here we go. We have the red one, which is the pentagon, 10 degrees. The blue is 12 degrees and the green is also 12 degrees. Now we had the blue at 11.5 but it was slightly low on that so I mean half, half a degree if you said the tolerance on this uh, calculation tool is half a degree you're not going to be able to, better, uh, to do better than that in the workshop. Let's finally do a f one final check on SketchUp. Let's, um, um, this is a quick model but I can should be able to colour code it. Right, I've colour coded this so you can see uh, the different strip lengths. Uh, if, if you can remember back to the calculation tool, the green ones were the longest, the blue ones, uh, th these were 0 0.4, these uh, 0 0.41 and these 0 0.35. So the reds were the shortest, blues next and greens final. Uh, so let's, uh, I, I do think we said uh, that the green one was 12 degrees. So. On SketchUp, we can go Window, Tools, sorry, uh, Protractor. What we do with the protractor is it'll set a, a little guideline up. We want to know what the angle is. Let's just go here just to. Uh, it's, it's set a little dotted line up. So we can now use that dotted line to measure with our protractor. So we want the edge of this up to the dotted line, click, and if you look down here, it's this is approximately 12.1 degrees, so that's that's accurate. Now, um, one last point is if you're looking at uh, building hubs, all of those are 12 degrees, because yet they're all on a green hub, but if you look on this hub here, we have a, a green a blue and a red all joining together. We said that the blue and the green were um, okay to do them at 12 because the half we're not going to worry about the half degree. So that, that would be 12, 12, 12, 12, 12 and then one coming off at 10 degrees. Um, strictly speaking the blue would be 11.5 then 12, 11.5, 12, 11.5 and then 12. So that, that one has multiple bend angles. Now the pentagon one, this one down here, that would uh, again be exactly the same as the hexagon. The bend angle would be 10 degrees, because we worked that out, uh, but all of them are the same. So the all, all you would have to do is to mark the orientation of the red strut on your hub. So if you put a red dot on the tab that belongs to the um, red strut, it's symmetrical so you can't get it wrong then you can't put that hub in the wrong place and it doesn't matter about these two. I hope you found that helpful and um, if you enjoy these videos uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.